What's up, guys? It's Jay, more than Afterkill, and I'm back here on Gotham City Imposters, and I'm stuck on this wall. I don't know why. Why am I stuck on the wall? Every fucking video game I play, I get stuck on goddamn walls, and I don't know why it happens, which is why it leads me to believe that I should be the perfect beta tester for every video game that comes out, because I'll find every goddamn invisible wall in the game that you get stuck on, and nobody will ever get stuck on a wall, and everybody will have a good time. But yeah, you see me running around with my Falcon Blade, and you're like, oh my god, is this more Falcon Blade only class? No, actually, I pull out my chaperone because this guy's running I can't really fucking catch him he's fleet footed off his ass and I'm wallflower because I don't like people uh, showing up on the radar or shit like that especially with the motion trackers but this gameplay you're gonna see that it has a lot of trick shotters in this game and you're gonna see later I'm gonna be invisible near the spawn and they're all gonna go grappling away like it's a fucking goddamn line show or a parade I don't even know but uh, you can bet on their screen they're 360 and but we can't see them 360 which is funny because they don't even know that but uh yeah one of my friends wax and uh, Nick they trolled me one time when the game first came out and I was doing 360s with the grappling hook and they were like whoa you look so cool man you look so cool and I was like really and they're like no we can't see you it's a uh, animation that you can only see on your screen nobody else can see you doing a 360 while grappling which is kind of funny and I don't I don't think other trick shotters know this but it's hilarious as hell that they're actually a uh, 360 and nobody can see them and they're like oh yeah this is so badass whatever but yeah they're easy kills so I'm not gonna complain about them but what I do want to talk about is uh these videos that I've been seeing lately from a lot of fucking commentators, and you guys know the ones I'm talking about, the ones where people, they put it up, it's called like, the COD community, or the FIFA community, or the YouTube community, and it kind of makes me laugh, it makes me laugh inside, because a lot of these people are smaller commentators, smaller channels, like myself, they have usually like, around a thousand to four thousand, five thousand subscribers, and they're complaining that YouTube isn't a community, that nobody wants to help each other out, and that it's kind of like high school where everybody has their own little niche, their own little group, their clique that they run with. And you know what? You're goddamn right. That's exactly what YouTube is. But YouTube is not a community, and people seem to be forgetting that. YouTube is a race. YouTube is people competing against each other. Everybody's competing on YouTube. And that's why a lot of the bigger YouTubers don't want to help out the smaller YouTubers. Especially like everybody's like, oh yeah, well I see all these small YouTubers. They have way more fucking, you know, entertaining shit than some of these bigger YouTubers and everything. And that's exactly why bigger YouTubers don't want to fucking help you out. Is because they realize that you might actually pass them. And that if they give you the proper, you know, networks and communications, that you might do better than them. And nobody wants to see anybody else do better than them because everybody's a bunch of greedy motherfucking bastards. That's the way the world works. You don't fucking believe it? Everybody's fucking greedy. Everybody wants everything for themselves because everybody wants to be successful. And the thing is with YouTube and the current climate it is, is not everybody can be, you know, successful. There can't be like 30 million channels with 3 million subscribers each, everybody getting 500 million views per video because it's just not going to happen. Now, see, what I really, really hate about all these videos is that everybody's saying like, oh, Oh, you know, everybody just sticks to their own crew. Uh, they don't want to help each other out. And you know what? I, I, I find that to be false because YouTube is what you make it. All right, if you feel like nobody's helping you out, like nobody's fucking, you know, wants to fucking do dual comms with you, or nobody wants to fucking, you know, box for box, or whatever the fuck you guys want to do to fucking help promote and grow your channel. If, uh, if you're finding that people aren't willing to help you out or they're not willing to fucking, you know, get on a video with you and fucking network out, then maybe you're talking with the wrong people. Maybe you are networking with the type of people that you probably shouldn't be. Because I do have a very good network of fucking YouTubers. Some of them are really big, some of them are small, but I mean, everybody there, you know, shares their opinions, they help each other out, and fucking, you know, we like each other's videos up. If you follow my Twitter, you'll see all the time that I like up people's videos, and these are people that are in my network my community of people that I have grown through the time that I've been on YouTube and people that I've become friends with and then I network out we do videos together we share our subscribers and that's how we grow we grow off each other from you know networking because it doesn't matter if you have 5,000 subscribers if you do a dual commentary with somebody that has 1,000 subscribers I know everybody's gonna be like oh well that's shit I have five times the subs as that guy why would I do a dual con with you why wouldn't you do a dual con because his subscribers are not necessarily the same subscribers 
subscribers that you have. All right, so when people go around and just say, "Oh, well, I don't want to do a dual com with this guy because of his fucking sub count," even if he has 500 subs, that's 500 people that you have not previously interacted with, and that you could possibly, you know, uh, convert into fans of your channel through the networking with other people. And that's the problem is that everybody looks at it like with these statuses, they look at sub counts, they look at views, they look at all this shit. And you know what? I understand that you know everybody wants to fucking you know become the next 1 million subscriber user. Not me. I told you guys I don't really want that. I'm having fun with the people that I fucking hang out with, the people that I network with. And if you're not having fun with YouTube, then maybe you should look at the people that you're fucking hanging around with and kind of fucking do something about it. Because you don't have to network with people that you don't want to. And if these people aren't fucking benefiting you from networking in any type of way, you, you can feel free to go network with somebody else. You don't have to be within that group of people people just because you're friends with them. I have friends that, uh, you know, all the time that we fucking talk on Skype. They have YouTubes. I have YouTubes. But our YouTube, you know, th we don't overlap our YouTubes just because, you know, we have different styles. We have different, uh, you know, end goals for our channels. And we don't want to fucking, you know, confuse our subscribers by mixing that because nobody wants to mix, you know, somebody that does like, I don't know, like fucking piano tutorials or recipe tutorials with gameplay. Nobody wants that because then you're not fucking appealing to both sides of the subscriber piece. So if you are going to be networking with people, make sure the people you network with are people that are going to want to watch your shit. The fucking type of people that have subscribers that watch first person shooter gameplay. Uh, if you're going to be doing networking and a dual com with somebody like, uh, like if me and makes sandwich woman when we do uh you know videos together it's necessarily because we're just friends and we like to do videos together it's not because we're gonna network because he has a lot of skyrim subscribers i have a lot of first person shooter and fucking minecraft subscribers so our subscriber base does not overlap which means that the uh you know the amount of effectiveness that our dual commentary together is not going to be very effective because our subs don't fucking intertwine so just remember if you're fucking sitting there thinking you know oh the youtube community hates me nobody wants to fucking network you know what get off your ass do something about it and make your channel the community that you want it to be stop looking at youtube as a whole or your fucking game as a whole and make your channel the community that you want that you strive for the type of people that you really want to fucking network with because you know life is full of experiences and your experiences are defined by the people that you surround yourself with so if you surround yourself with a bunch of fucking assholes that cause stress you're gonna get nothing but assholeish attitudes that cause you stress so i can't stress that enough <laughs> but i ran out of time we're looking at the lineup again my name's jay morning after kill fucked up a bunch of trick shotters here so guess what 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 was that huh uh I'm going to see you guys later.